Welcome to Electro Online, and in this video, we're going to show you how to find the energy stored in a solenoid, and of course, the energy stored within the magnetic field of the solenoid. Well, first of all, the basic equation for the energy of in a magnetic field is equal to one half times the self inductance times the steady state current squared. And of course, the self inductance for a solenoid or for anything is the number of turns times the ratio of the magnetic flux going through the loops divided by the current that drives that magnetic flux through the loops. And by definition, the magnetic flux is equal to the magnetic field times the cross-sectional area. And here with a solenoid, if the solenoid is long enough and skinny enough so that, it's, that the length is much, much larger than the diameter, we can assume pretty well a constant magnetic field throughout the the coil or try the solenoid. We know that there's some edge effects at the end, but they can, they can be ignored if we have a long enough solenoid with enough turns relative to the diameter of the solenoid. And finally, the magnetic field of a solenoid is equal to mu sub naught times the number of loops per unit length times the current through the solenoid. So this can be written as mu sub naught times the total number of loops divided by the length of the solenoid times i. All right, now we can put all that together. So that means that the magnetic flux here can be written as B times A, which means it's equal to mu sub naught times the number loops times I times A, can't forget the A, divided by the length of the solenoid, which then goes in here. So the self-inductance is equal to the number loops times the flux, which is mu sub naught N times I times A divided by L. And of course, we still have the I down here like that. And then you realize and in this case, the i's cancel out, and the n's can be multiplied together. So the self-inductance of the solenoid is equal to mu sub naught times n squared times a divided by l. And finally, that goes in this equation right here. So we can then say that the energy stored in the solenoid is equal to one half times the self-inductance, which is equal to mu sub naught times n squared times a divided by the length. So that would be l right there times the steady state current squared and we could leave it like that I guess that's good enough so that would then be the total energy stored in the solenoid and that's how we do that